Hello again. I am often reminded these days of a line from Schiller's play about Joan of Arc. Against stupidity, the gods themselves struggle in vain. I was prompted once again to think in these terms by a couple of comments on the video which I released this morning. These were from people who could not see any strategic importance to Britain of events in the Middle East, and who didn't think that any important resources were located there in the Middle East. There is oil, of course, but somebody said that if only we made more effort to achieve net zero, then that would scarcely matter to us. Let me try and explain why oil is absolutely vital to our modern civilization and that net zero depends upon the production and use of vast quantities of oil. Without it, there would be no wind turbines or double glazing, no bicycles or solar panels. In fact, there would be no electricity at all and very few clothes or shoes. You see, Plastic, whether fiberglass, PVC, polythene, nylon, or any other sort of plastic, is made of oil. All the wires carrying electricity in your home are covered in plastic insulation. Chances are that your windows are double glazed and that the window frames are made of plastic, which is produced from oil. Look out of your window into the street now and ask yourself, how many of the windows I see are white? How many of them are plastic and double glazed? In a typical street, that would be most of them. They're all made from oil. You can't make that sort of sealed double glazing from wood. It has to be plastic, which means that we need oil to insulate our homes properly and have double glazing. A pair of trainers is made of things like nylon and synthetic rubber. They too are made almost wholly of oil, as are the tyres of bicycles. Without oil there would be no insulated wires and therefore no mains electricity in anybody's home. Renewable energy is one of the biggest users of oil in the country. Every wind turbine has three blades, each of which weigh between 10 and 30 tonnes. They're made of fibreglass, which is plastic. After 20 or 25 years, the turbine will be scrapped and all the tons of plastic in the blades will just be buried in landfill sites. It can't be recycled because it's mixed up with glass. It's just junk. You just have to bury it. Without oil, there would be no wind turbines. Look around your home now and see how many things are made of or contain plastic. It's all made from oil. Solar panels need plastic as well. Net zero is, as I've said, heavily dependent on oil. Some have suggested that we might live simpler lives without so much reliance on technology and so on. To do this would mean that we had no electricity in our homes, no double glazing, no wind turbines, no trainers, no mobiles or computers, no nylon or acrylic clothes. To do without oil would mean doing without plastic, which would mean that we'd have to return to a way of life comparable to that of medieval peasants. Our only heating would come from burning coal and wood. It is for this, among other reasons, that the war in the Middle East affects us. True, there are other sources of oil apart from the Middle East, but if that oil in the Middle East were to be cut off, then the price of oil across the world would soar, and so would the cost of plastic, and our economies would all crash into the worst recession ever seen. I mentioned yesterday one reason we should be worried about what is happening now in the Middle East is that we don't want Iran to start falling around with atom bombs and perhaps dropping one on our heads. Here's another reason. We want our civilization to continue. And for that to happen, we need lots and lots of cheap oil. Tell me, do people really not know this? Do they not understand that oil is essential and that if we wish to have electricity in our homes or to wear trainers or install double glazing, we have to have 
practically unlimited quantities of oil coming here. Seriously, am I the only person in Britain that realises this?